Hi guys, it's your girl Angel Baby and welcome back to my channel Dollar Bill Life. Today is Sunday so you guys know what that means. It is another review my view. It's a small segment that I do on my channel where I buy from different Etsy shops, websites, YouTubers. I go on there, I buy what I think is unique to that shop and I come on my channel and I do a small mini haul and review. So guys, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow and it lets me know that you do like them. Leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and I will comment back to you. And also, if you are browsing through and you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified next time I upload a video. Okay, here's my mini disclaimer for you guys. I, like I said, buy from different shops. And I just want to make it very clear that whenever I do a review, I am not comparing one shop or YouTuber to another. All you guys are unique and you all have different products. And also, I might circle back around and review the same shop that I've done before. I'm not saying that this shop is better than anybody else. All I'm saying is I go on there and I'm going to pick something that I think is unique or they have posted something else that I think is unique. I want to review it for you guys and showcase it on my channel. That is all. Okay, let's get started guys. So I know in the thumbnail you probably saw where you saw the mailer and then you saw my keys and some trolley gummies. And you're trying to figure out what is Angel Baby up to now? What do these three things have in common? Well, I'm going to show you guys really quick. So let's grab that mailer. Now today I am showcasing a Etsy shop owner and the Etsy shop name is Sophie B Designs. So I want to show you what I have purchased and also what she has sent for me to review on my channel. Here we go. So isn't that cute? I went ahead and blacked out everything. Security reasons of course guys. And so this is the mailer that the my purchase has come in. And it has little pizzas all over it. I did go ahead and cut it um, just because I'm trying to preserve my nails. So I don't want to break a nail by doing this. So I'm going to pull the contents out. And we'll, be, we'll get started in the review. So when you get this, she does um, glue a really, um, it's more like a solder. So you would just cut this open and she does that because these items are coming all, all the way from Hawaii and I'm in Georgia so she makes sure that nothing gets damaged. So everything is packed securely. I just went ahead and cut it open so that's why this product just fell out. But it is very secure when you get it. So I'm going to move this aside because this is an extra thing I did not order but she did want me to show you guys what uh, are some other things that she sells. So, um, this is a little extra, and I'll show you guys in a minute what it is. Now, when she sends her stuff, she packages really well and so cutely. She sends these little candies with it, and they're so cute, and they are very delicious. So, this is like a little extra treat that she sends you guys whenever you order from her shop. Now, really, before I get started in here, I want to show you Girly and Confetti really quick for a reason. So, I have both of them here. Girly is my A7, if you're new to my channel, and Confetti is my A6. And I just want to show you guys really quick. Um... I wanted to circle back around to her Etsy shop because I ordered from her before. I like little charms and little decorations for my planners because I like to give them personality. I have personality and I like for them to have personality as well. So I bought a charm or really it's a keychain but I use it as a binder charm from her. It has my real name on it which is Ajeta. On my channel I go by Angel Baby but my real name is Ajeta. And this is a personalized heart lollipop. And they are originally $8.50 on her channel. She um, runs a sale right now and they're 10% off. So these come out to be $7.65 a piece. And so this is a purple one and it has gold and it looks like blue or teal and pink or purple glitters in it. 
and I'm trying to get close enough so you guys can see. It's wrapped in a plastic, and this is like a resin. And she handmakes all these guys. They're it's amazing the quality. And in the stick, it's glitter as well. This is how the back looks, and I've showed you guys before. But I wanted to do an up close and personal on this so you guys can see. So it actually looks like a real lollipop. Now I purchased only one. The reason why I'm bringing that up is that when I purchased that one, when I got it in the mailer, she sent an additional one. And so I keep that one in confetti. So I didn't expect to get this one as well, but she sent me an extra one. This is a pink and purple. It has the glitters in the middle. And you can pick your sucker color and your glitters. Any color combo that you want to do, she is very accommodating. This is the back. And like I said, this is not real candy, but she makes it look like real candy. It's very impressive how she makes her um, her pieces, and they're really high quality. So because she sent an extra one, and then she sent the candies, and how she packaged it with care, and she just made it so super cute, I wanted to circle back around and showcase her things on my channel. Okay, so now we will get into actually what I bought. So I'm going to take the sticker off. And we will get started in the review. So I purchased two of the real Japanese heart candies. And I purchased one Sour Bright candy. And I'll show you guys what they look like in a minute. So, I'm going to move this off camera because this is an extra that she wants me to show you guys. Um, she was so kind to send extra pieces so I could show you what she has and then for me to have too. So, that was very kind of her to do that. I do not expect that you guys send me anything extra. But whenever you do, it's greatly appreciated and I will showcase it on my channel. And this is also an extra as well. So, I will put that to the side and I will show you first what I purchased. Now guys, just like I just showed you the suckers before, that is not real candy, it's resin. But, what I'm going to show you now is actually real candy and it is um, covered in resin to preserve the candy. So, this is actually real candy. The two pieces I'm going to show you first and the other one is going to be a polymer clay. But, let's get started with the real candy pieces. So, I got two of the real Japanese heart candy. So these are real candy inside resin. Um, there was a third one. It's, um, I think it's a kiwi candy, but I didn't get that one. I just got these two because they were colorful and they would match um, whatever I was wanting to do with them. Which one I'm going to attach to my purse. And the other one I will use as a keychain. But I'm going to take them out really quickly. They come packaged like this with her card in each one. And she, I just noticed she does have different cards. So I'm going to show you everything up close so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so it comes in these little mailer bags. And I'm going to pull the card out so you can see up close what her card looks like. And then what the item looks like that I got. So this is her business card. One of them because she has multiple designs as you just saw. This is the back of her card. And also I will put her information in my description below. So guys if you want to order from her shop then it will be down there. So this first one that I'm going to show you. These are all keychains, but like I said, I use them for different purposes. I like to use them as keychains, but I also like to use them for binder decorations and also purse decorations. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So, this is the Bunch of Grapes Japanese Heart Candy. I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, this is the grape design in the middle. And it reminds me of that candy that you get at Christmas time that comes in the tin. If you guys know what I mean, the candy ribbons. And they have like different candies in it. Um, so, that's what that reminds me of. So, this is the side of it. And the back design is the same. So, it's the same throughout. 
So I'm going to also show you in comparison how big it is to your key rings if you decide to put it as a traditional key ring. So that's what it looks like on your keys. And let me grab, I'm going to just grab Girly and just show you if you decide to get one of these how it will look in your binder. So that's what it will look like in your binder if you decide or you can put it on whichever setting you want to and have it hanging however you want to and then close it up. I'm not going to put this one in here. I'm going to use this pink one to go on my actual purse and I'll show you guys what I mean. So I do have a small coach bag and you know on the sides where you have the tabs. So this is like the little hardware that comes on the coach and this is the coach tag. And then I'm just going to slip it on here. And then I'm going to grab my purse and then show you how I'm going to attach this. So this is my purse. Sorry, I got some hand sanitizer sticking up. Okay, so this is my little coach purse. And then the side, this is where that charm was. Where they put their little tags. So I'm going to loop this back through the loop. Let's see if I can do this because trying to just show you guys really quickly and of course a whip bite with it okay so I'm just close this back up and if you're anything like me like super really cute girly things and so that's how the charm is going to hang off the purse I like to add little charms to my purse as well it gives it a little personality so that is what I bought this one for Now, I'm going to show you the next one, which is a pinwheel design. This is also real Japanese candy. And it is also in resin as well. And this one, I actually am going to put on my key ring as well because of the colors. But I'm not going to attach this one right now because it will be a devil trying to get it on. Only because I don't want to break my nail and I will have to... Um, Last thing, I tried to put one on. I almost stabbed myself in the hand. So I'm not going to do that on camera. But I will show you kind of what it looks like close to the keys. And that's where this one is going to go. Okay, and this is another design of her business card. And I'll show you that up close. And like I said, that is the back of her card. She is on Instagram as well if you want to contact her. So this is the pinwheel design. Like I said, it's real candy and it is enrolled in resin. Let me get my paper so you guys can see that. It has the key ring, chain, and candy on it. And that is what it looks like. It's white, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, pink, and red. That's the front. The back looks the same. And also, I will show you the sides. So there you go. So if you guys are interested, then check her shop out. And I'm going to show you how it will look on your key ring as well. So that is how it will hang on your keys. And I'm going to keep this one on my keys. So I'm going to put this aside later. And I'll um, put it on my keys after the video. And the last thing I purchased was the Sour Bright Candy. Um, it is also a key ring. Now, this is not real candy. This one is a polymer clay, so she has made this one by hand. And I'm going to show you the details on this one as well. So, this is where the actual bag of candy comes into play. So, let me pull the key ring out. Well, I don't have to pull this in. I've already shown you the card. So, I'm going to leave that one in so I don't have to fight with the bag. So, this is the design. Like I say, it's a polymer clay. So, she has made this herself. It has yellow at the top, orange at the bottom. 
and this looks just like a trolley gummy. So if you look up close, I'm going to try to get as close as possible. If you see the little crystals on it, it looks like sugar crystals like you would see on the actual candy. And it's very bumpy, just like you would get like a piece of candy that has sugar coating on it. So that is how it looks around. It has the chain and the key ring at the top. So if you want to use it as a key ring, that's fine. And if you want to use it as a decoration or something, that's fine as well. Now... I'm going to show you in comparison how this looks to an actual piece of Sour Bright candy. And that's why I went and bought some candy yesterday at the Dollar Tree to show you guys what it actually would look like. And also this shows the sizing of how big this is as well too in comparison. So here is the one she made. And here is the little baby Sour Bright that is an actual piece of candy. So that's what it looks like. In comparison so I would say that's pretty spot on she did a great job as far as recreating the actual candy itself and I am going to show you the sizing compared to your keys if you decide that you want to use this as your actual key ring oh sorry I grabbed the other one instead of the keys so this is how it was set if you decide to use it as a key ring, which that's what it is, compared to your keys. So this one here, I'm going to put in Daisy. So um, I'm going to grab her real quick so you can see how this looks like in a binder. Because this is where this one is going to go. Let me see if I can find her. Okay. So we have Daisy here. Now, for the price on this one, just to let you guys know, this is $1.75, and I did get this 25% off, so it ended up being $1.31. So, let's open Daisy up real quick. I do have my Fierce Ducky in here. I decided to move this one out of confetti, and you guys will see in a minute the reason why. So, I'm going to just open this up, and I think I'm going to put it on this. Let's do it the easy way. Not the hard way. So I'm going to stick in here because it definitely goes with the yellow theme. And I think it would be really cute. And that is how it will look in there. If I decide to change what ring I put it on, then you guys will see. But I have it in there and it is hanging off. So I think that's really cute. So if you guys like charms like that, then definitely copy some of those. So now I'm going to show you the extras that she sent, and I will tell you the prices on her website as well. So let's see. Let's go with this one right here. So you guys are curious to see what this one is. So let me grab my scissors, and I'm going to cut this bag open. This was an extra that she wanted me to show you guys. And like I said, you don't have to send me anything extra, but I think it's so sweet that she really did make the effort to make these specially for me and send them as well. Now, this one actually is listed on her website. And this is for purchase, guys, if you want to get this one as well. If I can, okay. I'm literally blind as a bat, so I cannot see where the opening is. So let's cut it because I don't really need this bag. Okay. There we go. So, guys, this is the Thai Boba Milk Tea keychain. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to get you close up so it has the little straw at the top and it has the top for the actual cup itself. And the side, do you see the whipped cream and it has some little drizzles on it like caramel drizzles. And then you have your milk at the top and then it has like the tea at the bottom and it has the boba. So this is how it looks from the side. The top view. And the bottom. So you can see the boba through the bottom as well. 
it has the chain and it has the key hook now these are originally six dollars and fifty cents each but right now on her shop they're ten percent off so that makes them five dollars and eighty five cents each you can pick the color tea if you want and it comes in pink lavender yellow or mint and also you can um, pick your toppings on top as well now the toppings are cinnamon top whip cake sprinkles with whip whipped cream or no topping at all so that's how that looks so let me show you behind this white piece of paper so you can see a little bit better how it looks And also, I'm going to show you how it hangs on a key ring as well. If you decide to use this as a key ring, then that is how it will look on your keys as well. Or this would be cute attached to a book bag um, or your purse or anything like that. It would be a cute little charm. So that's what that one is. This was a little extra that she sent me. So I'm going to move on to the next item to show you guys what else she sent me. Now this one is adorable. Okay. So cute. So let's open this one up and I will show you guys what this one is. Okay, so this is her. Isn't that adorable? It is a slice of cake. So it looks like a slice of party cake, birthday cake. And I'm going to give you the details on this. So this is, let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is called the Sophie B Original Candy Keychain, and these are $11.75. Now, on here, you can pick between your different frostings on the cake, and it you can pick from pink, dark pink, white, peach, purple, lavender, light blue, dark blue, dark brown, light brown, orange, lime green, green, yellow, and turquoise. So you have your different options to customize your cake slice, and also, you can customize the sprinkles on the actual cake for yourself. And the colors would be, or the customization would be, rainbow, fruity pebble dust, random sprinkle mitts, gumball sprinkles, black round sprinkles, gumballs. And you also can pick chocolate sprinkles if you want to as well. So this is so cute, guys. So I'm going to show you in comparison how big this is to your keys. If you want to use this as your keys, then that's how big it is going to look as far as comparison with your keys if you choose to do so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a charm. So guys, if you can guess where this is going, leave me a comment down below. But I'm going to show you really quick. Like I said, this was not something that I ordered and I was not expecting. She just gifted this to me to show you guys. And so, let me show you where it's going. You guess, confetti. So this is perfect for confetti. That's why I moved the little ducky out of here. And I'm going to put this one in confetti. So I, I will show you guys what this looks like in my binder. Let me see if I'm going to make a colossal mess in here. But let's see. Let's see. I'm going to just put it on the top ring. I'm going to move this one down a little bit. I might have to figure out how we'll rearrange these to showcase off all of them. But anyway, I'm just, well, I'm going to take this out for right now. I probably need to figure out how I'm going to configure this. But I just want to show you guys real quick, if you decide to use this as a charm in your binders, then I want to kind of show you how it will look in there. A lot of you guys, I see you on YouTube, and a lot of you guys have the same binders that I do. 
Um, Daisy is becoming very popular on uh, our budget community, but I also seen these confetti ones on a lot of videos. So guys, if you think this is cute in the binder, you might want to get you one too as well. Because this is a very popular one, and this was off of Amazon, but a lot of shops even sell these as well with extra envelopes in them. So, I'm going to show you. Now, you cannot tell me that that is not adorable. Look at that. And if I want to, too, just to judge it up, I can put this charm on the back and showcase it on the back as well. So, that is an option because a lot of people, I see them put their charms only on the front. But when you flip it around, you want something cute on the back, too. So, I think I'm going to stick the sucker on the back. And I'm going to keep the little slice of cake on the front with confetti. So, it looks very birthday celebration themed. So, that's what I'm going to do with this one. Now, I'm going to show you the last item that she sent me. It was not listed on her website. But I'm pretty sure if you reach out to her, she can probably put it on there if you are interested in this item. This looks like it's custom made for me. So, I'm going to share you, with you guys really quick on how it looks. I don't necessarily want to take it out of the bag yet because it's so cute. But, I'm going to show you how she packaged it. So, look how she put like the little extra shapes, the little sprinkles in there. So, they're little hearts. So, it's like little confetti in there. And, this is a little gummy bear. And, it has... In it, if you look, little sprinkles. So, you know the sprinkles that you put on birthday cakes or cupcakes? That's what this looks like. So, they look like little cake sprinkles. I don't know if they're actual sprinkles or not. But, I'm thinking that they really are. But, it's encased in resin as well. So, it's a little teddy bear with like little birthday sprinkles in it. And, it is a keychain as well. This is the back of it. So, you can see all the little sprinkles in it as well. And that's the top. So it does have the key ring and chain. So if you want to use it as a key ring. And that's the bottom of it. Like I said, she does not have this listed. But if you are interested in this item, I am pretty sure that she can accommodate and list a couple of these on her website as well if you want to purchase. And also on the side, it comes with a little yellow star. Let me see if I get a white piece of paper so you guys can see that a little bit better. Okay, so if you see right there, there is a little star attached, and it's a little plastic star, a resin star, attached to the keychain as well. <clears throat> so guys, if you are interested in anything on her shop, please don't hesitate and do a little shopping on her website and show her some love. And until next time, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. I love putting them out there, and I love showcasing all your talents out here on my channel. So, I will see you next time whenever I come back on here and do a review on my channel. I want you guys to take care of yourselves. I love you guys. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.